Okay guys, welcome to Valheim. This is going to be just a quick little tutorial on just the very basics about gathering a little bit of building and a little bit of fighting. Just a little bit of a how-to or just getting started. Alright, let's see how to get started in Valheim. Alright, so first things first, we have to come in via the bird. It's just going to fly us to Valheim, drop us in this wonderful forest here. If when you land you're suddenly attacked by Grayling, let's turn around fight them. I mean, you can run a little bit if you want to kind of just get your bearings, but don't run too far into the forest. And yeah, it's not too bad. Um, you just have to kind of watch your stamina a little bit, and then you'll defeat them after a few punches. You can talk to Hugin. He t basically just tells you um, about all these different monoliths here. They are challenges, basically bosses you need to fight so that you can get into Valhalla. And then he pops up over here. And he basically just tells you to follow these stones. They are pointing towards the ritual ground of the Forsaken, which are these guys. And so this one will reveal a, you know, the direction to go to find the stag, the first boss. So we'll talk to Hugin. Register location. Looks like down there. First things first, you want a stone axe and a club and a hammer. Hey there, Hugin. So he tells you to get the stone axe. So you just have to look around and you'll find some branches and stones laying around the ground. That's all you really need to make these starting tools. We're going to punch some of these saplings. It's a good way to get a small amount of wood. Now you can pick up things like mushrooms as well as bits of food. You're going to want to have a number of types of food so that you can heal and whatnot better. You can hear basically tells us that, yeah, we have a snack so we can actually use that. You can right click on this and you'll see down in the bottom left corner that it's added to your bar there, which will help you heal and get some stamina back. Okay, here's one of these little guys. These are much easier to fight with a club, but I don't have enough branches yet. And yeah, you just sort of punch them, watch your stamina, and ideally you won't be fighting more than one at a time. They drop resin, which allows you to get a torch recipe, so you just kind of remember how to make everything in the game. Uh, this world I was playing a little bit already, and some of the next key things to do are also get like, or to get a campfire going so that I'm not so cold at nighttime. You don't actually need a house for the first couple days at the very least because you will, um, the fire will keep you warm enough. But you will need some shelter for the workbench you're going to get. Also, if it rains, you will need some shelter for your fire to keep it going. Those trees and branches that are on the ground, which, um, well, we, we did see a few of those around. There's a branch over there. You know, you just pick them up. Now, I'm going to go and try to, well, I'm going to run and craft myself a club now because I should have enough to do it. Club craft. This is why I do the club first because you tend to get in trouble pretty early on. Now this just makes your fighting these guys that much quicker. Right. So now it's much less of a bother having to deal with them. Um, we need to make ourselves next probably this guy or the hammer at this time of the day, but I would say normally just get the stone axe. So let me just gather up this uh, the wood that I need for it. You can also hold two things at a time if you press, like, say, the torch, which is number one. And then you also press number two. You can hold the one or one or both, which is pretty darn useful if you're, you know, hunting around at night looking for things. But you need to make the hammer pretty quick because it's getting to be dark out. We need the hammer so that we can make a fire. And fire, if we rest beside it, will allow us to get the resting buff. And the resting buff allows you to regenerate your stamina a little faster so that you can, if you need to fight or something or run, you have a little bit more of a chance to survive that encounter. Now there's not really anything like dangerous in the first starting area that is you know, going to come out more at night. It's just that it's kind of Kind of nice to have it done. So yeah, I'm gonna get this stone axe. This makes chopping those little saplings down really quick. And it makes it uh, possible to break down these bigger trees as well. So 
uh, yeah, and you sort of level up. Uh, everything here is sort of based on you learn by doing, and then you yeah, you just sort of become better and better at it. So let's find a good tree to chop down, shall we? These grayish trees, it looks a little bit red right now, but they're fairly grayish brown. They're beech trees. They're soft enough to break with your first wood axe. And uh, the poplar trees are much harder, and they give you different recipes later on. Um, so don't worry about them right now. They're too hard to break down with your little axe. But uh, yeah, just spend some time maybe chopping down these guys. Now there can be an effect where you can knock down multiple trees at a time if the trees have enough damage and such. But don't worry about that. Um, first things first is when as you break it down, you have to realize that this thing can fall down on you. Okay, seems okay right now. Okay, so I feel cold, so I'm getting to the point where I need to get some things. The Kukin wants to talk to me over there. But yeah, you just have to keep smashing this thing. The stumps do give you, like, I think it's two wood. It's not very much, but it's something. And as you smash this thing, you'll level up. Oh, man, it just cracked me. And there's more falling. Oh, man. So this is what I said. You need to really worry about these trees that uh, come down. Yeah, so that's pretty much all of that I need. You can roll on them too. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but, you know, it's doable. Uh-oh, someone's around here. Sounds like a boar, maybe. Nope, one of you guys. Hey, Hugan. How's it going? What now? When the temperature drops at night, um, this reduces your stamina and regeneration. Seek shelter uh, by an open flame is your best option when this happens. So we actually need more stone. So we need to go find some more stone. Which means wandering around in the forest after dark. Uh, this depends on when you come into the game. Because if your friend's server perhaps is already running, it could be nighttime. So, you know have to kind of deal with it as you get in. This is a raspberry bush. I would recommend getting these guys. They are another type of food that you can eat that kind of supplement these cucumbers which allow you to heal and whatnot better. Of course fighting um, boars will get you some meat uh, but we're gonna have to do cooking. I'll just do a quick little tutorial on cooking when I get there. Okay so I think I have most of them. So the hammer is used to make halls and fortifications, which basically means like all your building components, like floors and walls and stuff. So let's just craft one of those guys up. Great, and it tells us we can do some repairing, some campfires, and a bunch of other recipes like workbenches and cooking stations. So we're going to get into those pretty quick. Yeah, and Hugan will tell you a little bit about it as well. So if you want to, uh, you know, check the map, you just press M, and you can always find out where the spawn area was. And just go down there and take a look. But I'm going to go back there just because it's sort of centralized to what I want for now. There are buildings and stuff around the map, so I would recommend you know, going out there and looking for them. Um, some of them are worthwhile. They oftentimes have chests, and sometimes you can live inside of them or rebuild them, you know, things like that, which is pretty convenient when it comes down to it. All right, so to build something with the hammer, like a campfire, we press 4. Well, in my case, you you know, you just press whatever number you have it in your slot. Um, 4 is probably the order you'll craft it in, but you never know. And so now you can right-click. That brings up this little menu, and you have MISC, Crafting, Building, and Furniture. And uh, These will fill in as you uncover more technologies, either through defeating enemies or gathering items around in the world. What we want is the campfire and we do not have enough for it. Okay and to make the campfire you need five stone and two wood so we've got enough to do it. We just can't do it I think in this little area right next to the spawn area. So I think what I'm gonna do is put it out here and then I can be warm and harvest some wood. So that lights up. This allows me to 
stay warm, and harvest some wood. See, that's all done. So I'm just going to harvest this and pretty much call it there. The distance you can build away from the fire and still feel warm while on that building block is four blocks. Once again, always keep an eye out for those bad guys because they will come in and try to get you. Their AI is a little weird. They sometimes just run out of your range. They don't like fire, so they'll kind of stay away from you if you stay near your fire. But if you go out there, it will come get you. Okay, if you go after it and you do have a torch, it won't actually come after you, but the torches do run out, so you know you will possibly uh, give you something to worry about. Now, if you want to fight it, you just put the torch away, and I'm sure it will come after you. Here it comes, and yep, there it is. Attack me. So, light and heat are your friend. Thanks guys for watching, my name is Dredden, and if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, hit that like button. I've done a bunch more videos already, and I have more coming out, and so hit the subscribe button if you want to see those when they come out. I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.